Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. Why should you stay here at Disney's Art of Animation Resort? I'm going to be showing you guys a full resort tour and show you everything you need to know about your next stay here. I always read this question from you guys. Dev, where should we stay in Walt Disney World? Where do you recommend? And I always say Disney's Art of Animation. Let me show you why. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. The first thing up is of course the parking lot. They do have a section right here in front where you can park your vehicle for 15 minutes while you check in. And then from there, you can move your car to your side of the resort. And then from there, you will cross the street. And then this is where you will find the bus transportation to Disney Springs and the four Walt Disney World theme parks. And the buses run usually every 15 to 20 minutes. Something to note as you get off the Disney transportation, they actually have an entrance right here that will bring you right to the main lobby. That way you don't have to walk all the way around to the actual front entrance. A few quick fun facts about this resort. Disney's Art of Animation opened in May of 2012 and this resort offers 1,120 family suites. This resort is actually located where the construction on the unfinished half of Disney's Pop Century Resort, which is not that far away, was started but later abandoned after the September 11th attacks. As you walk to the main lobby to check in, the first thing you will see is the drop-off area for the Disney's Magical Express bus service. And this bus will take you from the airport to your resort, from your resort to the airport. A very big benefit of staying at a Disney resort. And also if you're taking a Disney Cruise Line, this is where you will come to get on the bus from your resort. And then from there, you have your main lobby. If you need help with your luggage, Disney does offer luggage assistance to your room. Right as you walk in to the main lobby, you will see some Disney sketches. And the further you walk, the more complete they get. As you see right here, a friendly cast member is helping with luggage assistance, like I talked about earlier. Then you have the check-in area right here. Very beautiful. And then also by the front doors, this is usually used as a children's area. They will usually have Disney cartoons going, some fun games for the kids. As you walk to the other side of check-in, you will find a little Disney Vacation Club booth in your business center where you can send mail, you can use the internet, you can print out a few things. And I believe they also have a ATM, well, somewhere. There it is, a Chase ATM here. Ooh, looks like they have a fax machine. And again, a printer. And like I mentioned earlier, when you get off the bus, they have the side entrance, and this is where it will bring you, right by Ink and Paint Shop. I really love the Disney paintings here inside of the main lobby. And then if you move a little closer, you can actually see all of the small details that went into making these paintings. Also, remember when I was telling you the further you walk down here in the main lobby where you check in, the more complete the artwork gets. Well, here's what it looks like at the end. Look at Simba. Right now, Disney is really using the mobile order feature and Disney has placed signs all over the place to make it a little more easier for you. Before we head outside, let's go check out the gift shop and the food court. We have resort exclusive merchandise. We have shirts, coffee cups, Disney pins, magnets, some more shirts here. Ooh, I like this one. $24.99. Ooh, on the other side of the table, they have hats, a photo frame, looks like a Christmas ornament, and look at this hoodie. Nice. And if you have done package pickup while you're in the parks, this is where you will come and pick your package up. As you walk through the gift shop, if you keep walking through it, you will come across their food court landscape of flavors let's go check it out right now life is still very different now things could of course change the further you get into the new year but right now disney is really encouraging you to use the mobile order feature on your my disney experience app that way you can pick your food place your order pay then pick a time come pick it up even with the drinks when you place your order you will come over here 
you will show the cast member your receipt and then from there the cast member will get you your beverage or if you have your resort refillable mug it works the same way breakfast is served at 7 a.m to 11 a.m and lunch and dinner 11 a.m to 10 o'clock p.m you can also find some really cool collectible penny press machines themed around art of animation and if you want to engrave a personal id tag they have a really cool machine here located in the food court here's a quick look inside of the seating area in the food court as you walk out of the main lobby and or the food court you will come across the big blue pool another quick fun fact about this resort this pool is actually the largest resort pool on walt disney world property you don't have to worry about bringing your own towels down to the pool when you come down here you can pick up how many towels you need and then return them as you leave the pool hours 10 a.m to 10 p.m when you're here on your vacation make sure every day you check out the activities the resort is offering because they change every single day and today they're offering movie under the stars so this resort offers two types of rooms the first one you have your standard hotel room and the second which is my favorite thing about this resort family suites the theming here at this resort is just incredible you have dory and crush up there and then you have all kinds of little fish and other turtles it's really nice for the little ones they have a splash pad area look at nemo and morlin inside of the anemone and then you have the little friends around and then you have ray back there on the other side i walked in really quick just to show you what it looks like inside you have some artwork room numbers ice and vending which is right here ice machine vending machine they take cards that's a good thing the theming just continues inside and outside look at the starfish right on the other side of the splash pad area something else for your little ones to do they have like a playground area with squirt i think that's his name let me know if that's his name down in the comments i think it is here's a overview of the resort it is a really good size resort if you keep walking straight from the main lobby then you have the pool then the splash pad and then the playground if you keep walking it will bring you right to the disney skyliner in my opinion i think this is the biggest benefit the biggest perk of staying here at art of animation is the disney skyliner this will take you to Epcot, this will take you to Hollywood Studios, this will take you over to Caribbean Beach. It is a fast way to get to the parks. Now, in the mornings, they can get a little lengthy and like waits, but if they do, they actually offer buses to those two parks. So keep that in mind, but you must ride the Skyliner at least once. It's so much fun. Let's go have a ride on the Disney Skyliner. There's art of animation. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Heading back now. If you keep walking straight, that will take you to Disney's Pop Century Resort. If, for some reason, you are thinking to yourselves right now, I don't know if I could ride the Skyliner over water. What if we get stuck? Well, Disney will take care of you. But here, they actually have like a barge that will come rescue you so keep that in mind they haven't had to use it yet if you're into running when you're here on vacation they have a really nice running trail around hourglass lake around the entire waterfront here through art of animation and pop century another thing to know this resort allows dogs so if you want to travel here with your little friends they do allow them it says limit two dogs per room restrictions and fees apply I also really like how, I mean, it is themed everywhere you look, even on the sides, also an upside down hidden Mickey right there, but even on the insides of the building, they have some Disney sketches, like there's Timon, I see plenty of thingamabobs, but I want to point out 
if we look at these rooms, they look a lot like the all-star resorts. And these are different because these rooms in the Little Mermaid section of the resort are the standard hotel rooms. Lots of really cool photo opportunities. We have Prince Eric. Ooh, look at Ursula. That's awesome. This is really cool. I like this section of the resort. Something else to note, if you don't want to walk all the way to the big blue pool at the front of the resort, each section of the resort has their own pool, like this one, themed around the Little Mermaid. Something else to note, they have a laundry facility back here by the pool with bathrooms. I like how the lighting poles here look like we're on a ship in the ocean. Next up, we're heading to the Lion King section of the resort. This is my favorite area of the resort and they offer some amazing family suites in there. When I do these resort tours, since I'm not staying here, I always stop by the front desk and I ask, is there any way I can get a tour of a room? Sometimes they allow me, sometimes they don't. And because we are still in the middle of a pandemic, they are not allowing that at the moment. But definitely go to Disney's website and look through some pictures. Because if you have a big family or if grandma and grandpa are coming along for your vacation as well, I think the Lion King family suites are a must. Now heading into the Lion King section, you can already tell the theming is changing. There's Scar just up on his rock, chilling. <laughs> Looks like he's laughing at us. Oh my goodness, look how cool this photo opportunity is. Looks like the little ones can run in and out. Looks like the gang is all here. I'm going to quickly run inside just to show you what it looks like in here. Look at Timon. You have the elevators. Another ice machine and vending machine as well. Looks the same. And look at the carpet in here. We have paw prints throughout and the room numbers are on a leaf. I believe the Lion King section does not offer a pool but instead, they are pointing you to Flippin' Finn's pool, which is the Little Mermaid section. There's Rafiki. If you are planning on using your vehicle when you're here, I would try to get a room around 2, 1, 10, 9, and 8. But the inside sections, you're going to have a little further to walk, but you are closer to the Skyliner. So keep that in mind. I'm back by the big blue pool. I also wanted to mention they do have a poolside bar, the drop off, and then the guest laundry is on the side of this building. A vending machine with soap, just in case you need it. Some more vending machines as well. Be sure to bring either a credit debit card or a gift card because if you plan on doing laundry, they do not accept cash. And Disney being Disney, if you want to step away while your laundry is going, use this QR code and you can check the status of your laundry. That way you don't have to wait in here. Mine, 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 mine. The car section of this resort is located right by the Finding Nemo area, which would include the big blue pool. And also you're right by the front entrance to the main lobby. You have your Magical Express right here and luggage assistance. And another fun fact, if you're not using the Magical Express, just say if you're staying here, if you Ubered or if you have family or if you've brought your own car, they will still hold your luggage for you the day you check out. So if you want to, you know, if you have a later flight and if you want to go to the parks, take your luggage here and they will hold it for you until you're ready for your luggage to be picked up. If you have to have groceries delivered while you're here on vacation, this is where the groceries will be delivered. Since I'm already here by the luggage assistance, one more quick fun fact, if you need to rent a ECV on your vacation, Disney has partnered with a third party company, Scooterbug, and you won't need to be here. They will drop off and pick up your ECV right here at the front by luggage assistance. Welcome to Radiator Springs, the last section of this resort. Again, so many great photo opportunities with no lines. 
Do you see how the rooms have changed since we left the Little Mermaid section? These are back to family suites. You have the Cozy Cone Motel, which would be the pool area. Wait, it can't be. Toe Mater, he's here? Look at this. Now that is awesome. Wow, look at the pool. You have the Cozy Cones that gives you a little bit more space and it's shaded. And then you have regular lounge chairs around. Very quiet back here. Not a lot of people are in the pool currently. There he is, Lightning McQueen, right out front of the Will Well Motor Court. And I have stayed in this area. It was such a fun time, lots of space. And again, very quiet back in this direction. There's Fillmore just chilling. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here from Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I love this resort. The value is great, the location is great, and you really get some good perks and benefits by staying here. I hope I was able to give you guys some good information for your next visit here to Walt Disney World. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you will always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. Also, make sure you're following along on Instagram. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from mickeytravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description. Click on the link for your next Disney vacation. I am feeling lonely In a room and it's time to end the ride Fading it too slowly Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me